So, so my second problem was that nobody was talking about John von Atanas, uh, John uh, Vincent Atanasov. You were talking. So, you tried to write a real history where around as an ENIAC, Atanasov has a very important role, Eckert and Mokli has a very important role, naturally you have a very important role, and John von Neumann also has an interest. So just here in this uh, phase, probably Atanasov is not a very well accepted person. I think that's true. Uh, a lot of people don't really feel that his work was important. I think probably what the, the point is, is that he built an electronic machine to do some mathematical work but prior to what Eckert and Mockley did. Now, I think that probably shows prior, what they call prior pra practice or prior art or something like that. And I think that means that Eckert and Mockley were not permitted to have patents that were as profound as they wanted to have. So what's happened is many people have disparaged the judge and said that he wasn't competent to decide the case. In point of fact, I, didn't, I don't believe that's true at all. He was a, com perfectly competent as far as I could observe. Furthermore, the thing that people have to keep in mind is that there were a number of reasons why the patents were declared to be invalid. One of those reasons was, for example, that Johnny and I had some claims to the stored program concept. And Eckert and Walkley were claiming that they had the sole rights to these things. The, furthermore, the judge held that not all the inventors who actually worked on the ENIAC like Arthur Burks, for example, were also inventors. And the pa patent was declared invalid because not all the inventors had been named. And I think that history, to be honest, will have to recognize the fact that the Sperry Rand Company decided it would not appeal the case to the uh, United States Court of Appeals or to the Supreme Court. And therefore, I think that shows it that both Minneapolis Honeywell and Sperry Rand felt that it was a fair uh, ruling by the judge. I think all claims about his incompetence are false. I, I, I testified for about 10 days, and I found him to be a thoroughly intelligent man who understood exactly what was going forward. Uh.